how to create a network configuration diagram in a Melsoft Navigator. This is what I'm going to show you in this video. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Seller from Seller Press Control Systems. And first I'm going to tell you why do you need a network configuration or a network, yeah, network configuration diagram. Actually it's made to illustrate the whole system as a network diagram and it allows you to perform graphic designs and management of the system. That means you can manage your system variables between different um, program items like the GS GX World 3 or the GT designer. And here is how it works. In a previous video, I already showed you how to make a module configuration and I configured a uh, FX5 CPU. Once you got this CPU configured, it automatically appears in your network configuration, which, will, which you will find right here. I can close this up and open it again, then you can see on how to get there. And if I want to add an item like a GOT, a graphic operator terminal, for example, take the GT2107, or you can choose any other type of, of device that is on this um, menu right here on the right side of the module list. You can use a GS. You can use um, any components, IQR series, IQF series, CPUs, and so on. So in this example, I will use a GT2107W and just drag this over and place it on the network configuration. And in order to make the network itself, I'm going to close all the items right here. And I will place an Ethernet connection, also drag and drop it. You can see the line right here. The length of the line can be changed by dragging either end of the line to the left or right, to wherever you want it. And now uh, I'm going to connect the uh, network with the individual items right here on the net. I'm going to use a network cable, place it and then drag it over and also for the PT, place it over and drag it and then you will already see the individual IP addresses of the items. Mm. Right here. Now I messed it up. One moment. There it is. Okay. You can see the IP address of the IQ module and you can see the IP address of the PT module. And once this is done, your configuration is finished and then you can also make a system configuration check. If you click that, it will take a while to check the system and it will show you on whether there is a fault or not. And I'm pretty sure there will be a fault because the GT decided that the operator, the GOT is not allocated to the network so if you double click this the error will jump the error message will jump already to the recording error and then you just double click this to allocate the GOT GOT 2000 tutorials uh, just give it any name you want and now you can either only create or open 
or open it um, it doesn't make a difference because once it's created you'll find it either on here or on here and you can open it either way you can open it by double click it on here and it will open in a basic um, window just like you normally open the GT Designer 3 but this is not an issue of this video right here so I will close this and this will be this will be managed on a later video so that's it for the network configuration in the Melsoft in the Melsoft Navigator thank you for watching and bye bye